question. Nigel Patterson. Many thanks, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government how much its budget is, uh, for social security is spent on mitigating the UK Government welfare reforms. Cabinet Secretary. Uh, we expect to spend over £125 million in 2018-19 on welfare mitigation and measures to help protect those on low incomes. Gil Patterson. Can I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that reply? The Cabinet Secretary will be aware that the Chancellor made the bold statement that the austerity is coming to an end. Given the fact that analysis from the Resolution Foundation shows that over three quarters of the Tories planned 12 billion of welfare cuts remain in government policy and the budget failed to halt the rollout of the universal credit or the end of the hated two-child two cap. Can he confirm that this is not the case and does he foresee the Scottish Government having to continue to set aside money to correct the worst aspects of these cuts? Cabinet Secretary. Well, clearly the UK Government budget did not single, uh, signal the end of austerity. The cuts to welfare will still be felt despite the announcements that the Prime Minister had previously made. They could have made a different choice. They're holding £15.4 billion in reserve. As a Chancellor describes it, his post-Brexit deal firepower, uh, I would have suggested that they put that resource into protecting public services, uh, stimulating the economy and protecting the most vulnerable in our society. I've mentioned a figure of £125 million in the current financial year around welfare mitigation. This includes spending to mitigate the impact of bedroom tax, helping over 70,000 households in Scotland keep a roof over their heads and sustain their tenancies, and the Scottish Welfare Fund, which is a vital lifeline for people across Scotland. But there is only so much this Parliament can do to protect the people of Scotland from a right-wing, pernicious Tory government. And that's why we need more powers around welfare to fully protect the people of Scotland from the ravages of a right-wing government led by Theresa May.